are still on the run after a shooting in Jefferson City. Thanks for joining us. I'm Jillian Furtick. Daniel is on an assignment. It happened just after 10:30 this morning in the 200 block of Pine Street in Jefferson City, and that's where we find ABC 17's Joe McLean. Joe, police are still searching for the shooter. They are Jillian. Investigators spent most of the day interviewing neighbors and developing leads. The victim, who is still in the hospital, was able to give police a description of the shooters. Just before 11 this morning, Jefferson City Police got a call about a shooting on the east side of town. We arrived and located our victim, who was in a residence and uh, claimed he'd been shot by two suspects who had fled the scene. Before being taken to the hospital, the 23-year-old victim gave a description of the shooters, saying they were black men in their late teens to early 20s wearing hoodies and shorts. The crime prompted officers to temporarily lock down three area schools, but they were opened back up after investigators found an important piece of evidence. In the course of that search, uh, we were able to locate a firearm, uh, which we believe was used in the commission of that crime. Moving forward, police will continue to investigate who was involved in the shooting and what prompted it. And we're not sure exactly what type of motive it might have been or what or why. We're just trying to determine the identity of the suspects and working to that end as we speak. JCPD says that uh, when they issued the orders for the lockdowns at those schools, it was merely a precautionary measure. They say the schools were never in danger. Reporting live in Jefferson City, Joe McLean, ABC 17 News. Thanks, Joe. And we'll, of course, continue to bring you the latest details on that investigation in our later newscast, as well as on our website, abc17news.com.